George, obviously a brilliant achievement last Friday night, but you don't have much uh, time to dwell on that, do you? Going straight back into Premiership, Premiership action this week. No, obviously it was a great night here at King's Home on Friday. I think very, very special. And, and I think probably at the end of the season, we'll have a bit more time to reflect and, and enjoy it. But um, we enjoyed it in the moment and obviously had a good evening together. But as you say, not much time to reflect because we play Leicester again on a Friday night again. And obviously uh, at Welford Road, that's going to be a real challenge. And how have the lads come back into training? So I imagine there's a bit of a spring in their step after, after such a good night like that. Yeah, they're really buoyant. I think you know we we wanted to go and get that trophy, and and we did. And I think it was a it was a tough Leicester team, and it was a you know it was a really tough particular first half. You know it was a um, you know there was a a lot of kicking, there was a lot of physicality in that. Very hard to break each other down, and you know when the boys got their moments in the second half, they took them, and you know there was some good moments in there where they were brave, and I was very proud of that. And I think you know we've we've touched on that briefly, but. Um, you know, we do need to move forward quickly uh, to get ready for Leicester Friday night. But yeah, boys are in a good spot. You know, again, we've talked about it. Final or no final, we, we feel like we've got a grip of our game. We know what we're about. And, you know, I think there's some buoyancy around that anyway. Uh, to get the trophy is obviously adds to that. But um, as I say, we'll, we'll uh, reflect on it a bit more at the end of the season. Yeah, and moving forward as well, I guess Cup Rugby is all about winning. But how proud are you that you saw glimpses or quite a lot of what you've been about this season? Yeah, I, I think you know when you get to a final, it's it's just about winning it, and and that's the end of the story, really. But I think it, it is important for us because we have put so much emphasis on executing our game plan, and um, I say the last couple of months, I think we've done that really well. So you know, we back our game plan. We do believe if we execute it, we buy into it, we work really hard that we'll get results, and um, you know that was a big part of it. And I think you know we have say the bits we've dissected from the game were around. When we stuck to our plan, we did eventually get results. Plenty of positives to take forward into this this run of Prem games and Europe then. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, we, ha we haven't had to do a reset or anything really during this period. As I say, it's more sharpening and understanding. So we're looking forward to taking that into the Prem. We're looking forward to challenging ourselves, uh, you know, back in the Premiership. There's only um, six games left. So it's important we do, you know, back our game, work really hard and, and see where that gets us. And how good has that block of games been, obviously, Plenty of boys getting game time, so we'll be sharp going into this this back period, but also plenty of rest for the, the internationals as well. Yeah, I, I think it was good to be in the cup through this period to give us two meaningful games and the trophy. Um, I think it's a long seven weeks probably if, if you haven't got any meaningful games in there. Um, and I think, yeah, the opportunity to give the international lads a, a break, a breather, a proper pre-season, that's been gold. You know, some of those guys go from season to uh, international tours back into the season. They never get that opportunity to properly rest, properly recover and do some conditioning work. And um, we allowed our boys to do that. And I think, you know, they're looking in great shape. And obviously touching on this week then, coming up against Leicester again, they'll be pretty motivated to, to get one back on us, won't they? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, uh, obviously the, they'll be sore from coming here and losing that game on Friday night. And, um, you know, they'll they want to get their premiership campaign back underway with their guys coming back from international rugby and um, the, the lads who were here on Friday night. And I think, you know, from their point of view, they're a proud team. Welford Road's a, a proud place for them to play and it's going to be extremely tough. Yeah, you mentioned Welford Road there. They're always a, a different different beast at Welford Road, aren't they? Yeah, I think Welford Road, you know, and King's Home, in my opinion, are the two most exciting places to play rugby in the Premiership. And I think it's a fierce place to go. It's hostile and... They take a lot of pride in that, as do we here. So, um, yeah, I say it's, it all adds to the challenge. But I think, you know, they're, they're the sort of places you want to go and play. They're the sort of games you want to play in. And, you know, I've no doubt Welford Road will be packed out and, um, you know, we'll be, uh, uh, it'll be a tough evening for everybody. Yeah, I guess as much as that atmosphere inspires the home team, it also motivates the away side as well to want to go in and, and put performance against that crowd. Yeah, of course it does. I think, you know, I think people feel the same when they come to King's home. You know, I think Leicester would have felt like that coming here. Like I say, you know, it's going to be a tough evening, but you have to use the, you know, we use the noise here to get behind us. You have, they have to use the noise to motivate themselves a different way. And, and that's the same, you know, going to hostile places is, as I say, it's why you play the game. You, you love your home games, but if you get to go places like Welford Road, where you know it's hostile, you know it's tough, you know, that, that is, they're the ultimate challenges. Said to be a real battle up there, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Perfect. Cheers.